啦啦。We are back at Battenberg Hospital, and、um, I've put it on nice and slow. Yes, please do come along. We need your money. I've put it on nice and slow because、um, I've got a lot of rooms. To move around, which we are going to do.、Um, I'm probably going to edit it out though, because、um, you don't need to watch me mess around these rooms again.、Um, but we are just going to start moving them out,、uh, so that this big building up here can be made into our new consulting area. Yes. Okay, so it looks rubbish, <laughs> but here it is.、Um, let's put in. A couple of radiators for a minute. Just the radiator there and the radiator here,、um, and、uh, we'll get in a couple of drinks machines and some benches, right? So because it's it's just so very very temporary, right? Okay, so we're going to be doing that. Put a couple of benches there, a couple of benches here. Excellent, right? Now up here, so we've started to open up some space. What we're going to do is、um, we want to start moving the GP offices. And our reception desk.、Um, let's actually remove the reception desk. So reception is now going to be、uh, here,、um, like so.、Um, where is she? There she is. And we'll grab our receptionist. We'll pop her up there. And、um, I would like these things. <laughs> right, now we're going to move all of this up there. So I'm thinking about putting in three GP offices. No, we won't. We'll leave space for three. That's what we'll do. We'll leave space th for three and put in the pharmacy. We have an earthquake on the way, and as you can see, I have been working on this new、um, consulting area. We have enough room for another office to go here. Our pharmacy is down here. We haven't quite yet got all the chairs and that sorted. We've got a nice big toilet for them in the reception area, so it's nice big open space, and we'll get lots of chairs and stuff around here. And then it gets really, really, really messy. Okay, then then it's really, really messy, and we don't have a ward at the moment. But that's fine. We're going to get it sorted out. This is、uh, where our diagnostic、um, starts, and diagnostic. Will continue、um, around here, and、uh, we'll also have another、uh, GP's office and another pharmacy back here as well. Trying to stop them from having to head back this way, if 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 we can. I mean, we'll give it a go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't seem to.、Um, an earthquake is coming.、Um, an earthquake is coming. I've been around all the machines. I think we're. Oh, I didn't check that one. This is the only one that might be. A little bit of a concern,、um, but we, we should be we should be all right for the earthquake. I sure do hope so.、Um, so I need to finish moving these chairs and these sorts of bits and bobs out so that we can clear room in there. But also, I think、um, sort of finish up this space. You know,、um, make continue to make it look nice. And I, I want lots of chairs outside the pharmacy area as well. Um, I think that'd be nice. We don't we don't want anything to be、um, sort of too crowded.、Um, that's that's sort of the the, the main thing with it.、Um, I suppose what we could do is maybe have、um, something happening、uh, along here、um, in the way of of chairs. Make this sort of like a nice little pharmacy area.、Um, that might be nice. Um, we also need to sort out heating.、Um, I've put quite a lot of radiators around here. You can see I'm putting fire extinguishers down. We're really, we're really going for it, peeps. We're really going for it.、Uh, we really want to to make them、uh, like us and and, and be happy、um, with this hospital、um, as as best we can. We will put a radiator, I think, here to help warm up this area. Um, let's say there is going to be a GP's office here. This GP's office is going to be a little bit different、um, in shape, so it'll be sort of flipped. So it'll be forwards, sort of one more. So it'll probably be in this sort of space.、Um, let's we could get we could gauge it.、Uh, there, can you see? 
So that's that's probably where a third GP office will go, and we feel we can staff it, and and it's needed. Um, I think that'd be good. So I've put our radiator down in there, um, and we're just uh, finishing up some chairs. I I like the idea of um, well, he's got a drinks machine, but I do like the idea. I think of um, look, we could put a fire extinguisher um, over here. Uh, if, if if we're allowed, yeah, but they're all walking, so terribly, terribly slowly. Um, that'll do. And uh, I kind of like the idea of fire extinguisher here as well. Um, I think that'd be great. Um, we want some plants. Uh, oh dear, we want some plants in this area as well. Um, so I think we'll put, you know, some plants around in this area make it nice I'm trying to put plants near the doors as well um, I feel that, that might be good lots of plants can you see we're going sort of a bit plant crazy really um, and this gangway is three so we can afford to put plants sort of um, uh, along along this stretch um, it's going it's going quite well in that respect um, but I, I kind of like those benches we could do benches on the other side but I, I don't think we will don't think we will. Um, I like this. I think this is this is nice, and I'm hoping to try and keep this space relatively clear. Um, maybe we could have. Um, it's quite a lot of plants. So could we? Maybe we should. Um, oh look at this. Oh look at this. So who? Oh no, we just killed somebody. Um, right. What's his skills like? His attention detail. He's a perfect plant uh, waterer because we've really upped the plant Spalding's just mentioned uh, as well that it's becoming a, a problem so that's that's great who are you okay fair enough fair enough um, so I'm going to start sorting out this area then I think um, to start our diagnostic process we need to get some benches uh, along here as well and probably radiators which I can pull out from this space um, I think that will work um, just just nicely okay now this is the start of our diagnostics so we've we've got um, they come in here they have all of this going on for their sort of initial diagnostic um, you know their what, what do we call this I forgot what we call this again what do we call this their, their initial consulting area that's it and then we move into diagnostics we had the earthquake this machine desperately needs repairing but of course i've got everything on so so slow so money's a little bit low so i haven't finished putting all the benches in this area but you can see it's starting to come together for now we're slinging clinics down in here and we are unlocking more clinics but I simply can't afford them. We now have the jelly vats, which is 11,000, and decontamination. So clinics are starting to build up and they are getting expensive. So we may need to consider a loan. What I'm also considering, I'm wondering if I should pull these clinics over, but, but, I, but I won't, I won't. We've got our psychiatric department here, which is again, just a temporary thing because this whole area is going to become uh, continued diagnostics. We're gonna have uh, psychiatric, another GP's office, another toilet, probably another staff room, just a small one, you know, and, and stuff like that. So that we can then start doing clinics sort of in this direction you know so we'll probably have our operating theater and another ward up here or something or, or or maybe here and this will be clinics and clinics something like that will be going on here so this just allows these three buildings to be for cure um so we are we are sort of and this is i think always going to be focused around staff this center area because it's nice and central you know it's sort of it, it makes sense the only problem of course is the helipad is sort of about here and we're going to be putting all of our clinics really far away and there's not much i can do about that that's just that's just the way that it is um that's just the way that it has occurred you see look you know so they would um have to they people will always have to walk through these buildings maybe one day we'll put all clinics over here but i can't see that being a thing i've got a feeling what will happen is that we'll be interested in if we can get this running smoothly just repeating it on this side is probably what is what we'll do um and then make this another sort of say staff focused area i think that's probably what will happen so i am now happy i think to start um 
going a little bit faster with this. Um, it's a little bit dodgy, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, start building up people that are coming into here again. Start checking over doctors we can be training up because we have a real problem in in that area. I can't build a jelly vat anytime soon. One of your doctors has become a consultant. Okay, so he does have all the traits. Look, he does have all the traits. So I'm gonna take him out. There we go, get them rested up. So we do technically now have two surgeons, so if anything, I'd be more inclined, I think, to go down down that sort of route, right? Um, has a wide range of skills. He is just a... He, he was just a consultant, wasn't he? You know, it's just it's just a consultant of uh, of which I, I'm fairly happy with my consultants at the moment. I don't think we'll worry about it. Um, yeah, we've killed far too many people, haven't we? It, it is true. It is a thing. Um, I'm not happy about it at all. So we're getting lots of diseases in now that we cannot, we we simply cannot heal. What is going on with him? Fake blood. Was that fake blood? A psychiatrist, right? Okay. Uh, where is he? The psycho? Here he is. Here he is. Here's our psychiatrist. He's really, really tired. Actually, that's that's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Um, and now he's on his way there, and then the psychiatrist will probably leave, right? Oh dear, that's terrible. That's terrible. Um, not the best. Not the best. Oh look, he's come back in. Maybe we could do that um, so that he can go and uh, get rested. What is this? No, I can't build the operator theatre. We've just lost loads of money as well. Um, somebody's paid without paying for general practice. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. This is, this is terrible. So we are going to have to slow it down because I'm not... I'm not happy with this. So people are not paying for things. Um, Okie dokie, what are you doing? Not a lot from what I can make out. Um, what's this machine like? Yeah, machine repair is starting to become an issue, isn't it? I would say that machines aren't, aren't being repaired terribly well. Um, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How many doctors do we have? We have eight. And I sort of have mixed feelings about most of them as well, right? Um, we don't have a lot of people coming in. Do we? We don't have a lot of people coming in. So, um, what we might do is take him out. Uh, oh. What, what, what is this emergency? What, what is this? Five people with alien DNA. No, can't do that either. Blimey. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking out a loan so that we can start curing more people. Um, what What do we... Because oh, we have plenty of room. Um, the, the jelly vat thing comes up a lot. Um, let's have a look. Clinics, jelly vat, 11,000, decontamination. We get more jelly vat type people, I feel. Um, so what we might do, um, it's not the best idea, but it's the only idea that I, oops, what am I doing? It's the only idea I have at the moment. Actually, on research, cure equipment, we're getting there for cure equipment, then we can start improving our drugs, that'd be good. What's happening here? Oh my goodness, this is terrible, isn't it? This is terrible here. Um, what is it I want to do? I've forgotten already. I want to take out a loan. Which one is is money? Money? Money. No? I've forgotten. Oh, here. It's over here. So, we're going to take out, I think, 15,000. And then we will build our jelly vat. Here it is. Build our jelly vat. And we will, because I don't know what the strength of it is, but I don't think it's the best. So we'll put five of those in, I think. There we go. Plant by the door. So we can now deal with our jelly vat people. I feel like that is definitely um, 
worth it. Right, I definitely feel this is worth it. Um, so we'll put a bunch of benches across this area. There we go. There we go. So we can we can now do jelly bat people, which is important um, for us to because we've been buying a lot of buildings, and I feel like it might be good to start trying to. Uh, put money into cure equipment because the cure equipment is coming in thick and fast and uh, I've been so sort of hell-bent on redesigning the hospital that we've not really been using it so decontamination is uh, is what's uh, on our mind although so is paying off our loan at this point so um, here we go can we get more people in our doors more people cured and and out the way um, I don't know I don't know um, we should have plenty of doctors to help um, yeah I mean look at them wandering around we definitely want to stop, sort of I, I can't but why are we still killing people why is that happening I can't cope with it I don't understand uh, we really need to improve the drugs I think that's what it is we need to improve the drugs definitely um, I think we'll put this down as an overflow GP. The new uh, Alec jelly bat. There we go. Yes, finally. Finally, we're using it. We're using it. And we've got more cure equipment. Look. Electrolysis. Ah, electrolysis appeals to me. Getting that down. Now that's relatively cheap as well. Um, that would allow us to do heriitis. That, that would be really good. That would be really good. Um... No, okay. Um. Oh no, right, let's slow things down. What's this? Must be all decontamination. Yeah, do you know what? You wait. Um, so, serious radiation. Right, well, we can't deal with serious radiation. Um, there's not many people. So, we don't want to declare it, obviously, but what we are going to do, right, is just get rid of them. Because I can't, I can't deal with this one. So that was three. Yeah, I'm sure it has three. There shouldn't be anybody out here with it. No. Three. And what we have to do is make sure that nobody gets infected as we go right so we're going to go to slower um, and look they have to come all the way through this building you know he's got a long way to go gives us plenty of time to get epidemics under control so she is now leaving she is um, out of the hospital we don't want anybody else um, getting infected as we go that's that's vitally important it really really is he's a researcher so we've got the research is going really quite nicely even if our training has just blown up in our face completely it really really has um because what i'm inclined to do is employ a bunch of these really terrible doctors i'm going to ignore the words we're going to employ all these doctors Right. Um, oops. I'm going to employ all these doctors. Right. Now. Rubbish. I hate that I have to, um. Yeah. Do it. Uh, I have to keep coming back into here. So what we're doing is we're checking their level of detail because sometimes you get like one of these poor doctors but their level of detail is really good. You know, like look at him. He's fantastic. And so's he. Wow. We have got really lucky there. So what we would like to do is find our best teacher, which is not him. It's him. Okay. He is our best teacher. What we're going to do is get him to train up these two because these two are amazing right they've got a lot to learn 
but their attention to detail is really high, which means they should learn quite quickly. And our teacher has also um, very, has got a high ability level and is also uh, a high level of detail. What is he doing though? Is he actually going to, to train them? Has anybody got, else got infected? with this epidemic that we're sort of currently trying to, to hide. No, no, well, it does seem to be all right. It looks like we've got away with it. So what we're going to do is uh, just turn this up again. What is this? Yeah, I can't. It's... Wow, look at that. Wow, <gasps> they gave us so much money. Right, what we're going to do with that, I think, is just pay back masses amounts pay back masses amounts um because I, I mean i would like to make electrolysis uh, build electrolysis uh, maybe we will i also really want a new a new uh, machine guy what's she doing slack tongue clinic you may you can go there because uh, because what we're interested in look look okay like look end of year came and we do have enough money really technically wow look at him he's great but there we are right so we've got to try and do this slowly um you so right look because it'd be great if we could fill this up right if we could fill the training department up where where is he there oh i don't know I don't know. Right, let's. I don't know. Is there any that. Uh, I think right, let's. We're going to say goodbye to. Who else have we got here? Okay, Whitman. Okay, what do you like, Whitman? Oh my god, Whitman's amazing. So we're keeping Whitman. Excellent. Abrasive gets people's backs up. I know it sounds like, it sounds, you know, like they're like these really terrible doctors, but. Their attention to detail might be really good. And if it is, I feel like they'll be good doctors. You know, gold. You know, we just want one more to train up. Oh, he's appalling. He really is appalling. Uh, one more. Uh, Kerberry. Kerberry. Just one more. No, it's not good enough for me. Okay, so we're now up to three in that department. We are going to build electrolysis. Yes, we are. We're going to build electrolysis. Um, can we? Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, a whole bunch of windows in there. So this is sort of turning into our little clinic area at the moment, which is fine. That's totally fine. Um, I will do that. So and, oh, wait, we're going to put in because I've got a feeling the electrolysis machine is exceptionally weak. Exceptionally weak. Then outside, we're going to put in a radiator. And some benches for it. Um, the radiator yeah, hit, and then we'll just stick some benches down. There we go. Um, so that why is nobody fixing this? This is taking even. We've had some sort of fast-moving spots, haven't we? But we still haven't managed to get this here, right? You, um, your ability level, Bonton. Are you good, Bonton? Are you? Yeah, you are. Right, you can work on machines, yeah? You're gonna fix this. You can full-time machine man, because we've built quite a few machines now. So a full-time machine man would be great. Can you... Go on, go on, please. Do it for me. <laughs> it's not doing it. Fine. I'm hoping it hasn't glitched. Okay, where are we with these machines? You know what, that's fine. So, let's go back to normal. Keep things moving forwards, chugging along. This is looking pretty empty. It feels like we're not getting a lot of people in our doors at the moment. Um, but you know, what What can we do? What can we do? Just, just got to, oh look, and we've got both GP offices are open again. Excellent. I think we'll put the queues um, up to 10, like that. Excellent. What is this? Oh, look, he gave us money for our award-winning hospital. Lovely. We're about to go into the uh, red when the new month comes up, by the looks of it, by her a horrific amount. It's because I bought that electrolysis machine, so I'm going to have to... 
Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, unless somebody jumps at me, I'm not going to worry about it. No. Okay. Nurse required in pharmacy. We could do probably with another nurse. Now that we have a ward as well, you know, probably could. It feels like we do have quite a lot of consultants kicking about, which means that we are getting all these machines operating quite quite well, really. You know, they they are sort of doing their thing. The jelly molder is so weak. Um, but we do need psychiatrist. Here he comes. Yeah, this is working well. I feel as though we are doing quite well with um, sort of having staff... Um, operating stuff, right? Stuff are complaining about the cold again. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Maybe we're starting to see more people in here, maybe? We might be. Um, so that's great. And what we could do, actually, we could talk, see about getting this guy in and putting in that next GP office. It may seem like overkill, but I don't know. I, I kind of want it built. I want it done, you know? The DNA fixer has been researched. Amazing. It just will then feel like this area is finished and... Oh dear. Um, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ah, the money disappeared really quickly, Ken, didn't it, at the beginning of the month? So, yeah, we'll, um, what we'll do, because I also employed that another consultant. Um... What we could do though, because we have, he is actually researching, we've got this consultant, the consultant that we just employed, what is he, oh, I can't remember what his name was because this guy's rubbish, look at his details, so we could do with sacking him, um, in fact we will, we'll just sack him I think, yeah I'm sorry mate, we're going to sack you. Uh, must be an operating thing. One of your doctors has been qualified to, um, what's, what's that? Um, God, that might have been a oh, researcher. Look at that. It's already, look, they've already got researchers, some of these guys. So that's, that's fantastic. Right, with the DNA fixer thing dealt with, our research, yeah, cure equipment is all done. So what we're going to do now, I think, um, we'll put these up to 10. And we're going to do masses and masses of drug research because we've been killing a lot of people because of this. And this really needs to, to be dealt with now. Um, what? God, they are training, it feels, quite quickly, doesn't it? Psychiatrists now. Right, so this, this is going quite well, I feel. Um, once we've got these doctors out, we're going to be interested in getting our operating theatre um, for sure that that really is truly a, a thing um except to do it we would need to buy another building that's also a thing <laughs> that is also a thing um but we will have the surgeons to do it so i'm going to want to build it then it's quite expensive but it comes up a lot doesn't it, it comes up a lot how much we don't have an operating theater um and it bothers me does bother me so you know we're building up what, what, what would they we could do with another nurse that was a thing wasn't it look there we go there she is we did need another nurse there it is another doctor's become a qualified uh, psychiatrist amazing that is amazing end of the month we're almost earning enough money each month almost to sustain this hospital um, at its current standing, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm loving that. This is starting to look a little bit busier, which again is fantastic. When these queues get too much, we will build the next um, the next GP's office, and not and not before, I don't think. Um, uh, yeah, because this is sort of our clinic area for the moment, isn't it? This is this has definitely sort of become a, a clinic area. I know we have a couple of clinics up and far away, but 
Oh no, an epidemic. But we might be able to get lots of money out of this. Let's see, because it's only small. It's the squids. We can totally do this. The squids, that's, that's a drug one. So where are they? So we've got one, two. Buckle my shoe. Um, I think, who... <laughs> Does anyone even have buckles on their shoe anymore? <laughs> Shoes anymore? <laughs> no, nobody. Surely that's not a thing anymore. Um, go for cure. Brilliant. Excellent. Um, I think we just have the two at the moment. So let's um, we'll go to... No, we'll go up to... Because there's only two, right? So we can keep an eye on this. Yeah, and she looks like she's already... Look, she's already going to the pharmacy for her cure, right? Look. And I think he is too, or she is too. No, no, she's going to the ward. That's in interesting. She's decided to go to the ward. What if somebody else gets infected in the process? I don't. Oh, we killed somebody. Oh, there we go. There's one. She's. What? What are you doing then? Don't know where she's going. I know. I don't know why I keep getting patience. I'm hoping that. I'm hoping that with oh Jesus look the drug research going up that this should get better where are you going psychiatric psychiatric is anybody in there yeah there is a bit of a queue but there is somebody in there Right, what are you doing? It, she's also, because she's looking fairly desperate. Let's send you for cure. Let's send you for cure. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh no. Right, we are going to slow it down. I feel like I'm losing the thread. Um, I'm not very good, you know, with this sort of thing. So, I feel like we still need handymen looking after the machines. I, I still feel like that's not going terribly well um, at the moment. Um, is he disappeared? I see he's disappeared. He's disappeared. That's annoying. That really is annoying. Where is she? She wants to go into the ward. Okay. Um, you go for cure. Um, do you have psychiatry? No, you don't. Who has psychiatry? We really need. Let's let's go over here. Do you? Yes, but you are also really tired. Bottoms. Um, okay, what we might have to do is grab you for the minute. Oh, look, there was somebody in x-ray. I bet he has it. And then we will put you to the front. No. Oh, Jesus, that didn't go at all right. We're going to put you to the back. Right, do that. Now, where else? We also have a, a war thing. Oh, no, he doesn't, so that's all right. A war thing. What's happening with you? Okay. So they go oh, no, I didn't finish. Uh oh, I didn't check them all. I didn't check all the machines before the earthquake started happening. Uh, please do, come along. Um, I could really do with all the help I can get financially, so if you would like to donate anything to my cause, I'd much appreciate that. Um, get out of it. Right, we've got a problem because we're slowly running out of time. What was that? She just fell over from the earthquake, did she? That was weird. Um, get those, get all the machines looked at after the earthquake. She really needs um, to go for cure. We're running out of time. You, have you seen? You have. Go for cure. Don't need to go back to the GP's office. Just go straight to the pharmacy. You lady, go for your cure. Um, I think they are the last two. Yeah, look, they are. They are the last two. The end of the year is almost here. Would we... Have we done okay this year? I'm not sure. When we change the the layout of the hospital, it always causes problems, doesn't it? It always causes problems. Um, apparently our salary is very in keeping, which I find a bit unusual. Our value is, is fantastic. Our death count is horrendous our cure count though is much better than everybody else's and we've had the most visitors <gasps> there's no black ones oh my goodness not we've not heard anything about the machines oh my god i can't believe it so for building the best reputation for our cures to death 
with the fact that we're clean for building reputation and for selling loads of Dr Pepper so positive in the um, in the reputation and we've just been given loads of money so we can pay off our bank loan and, and hopefully start working towards getting another building for our operating theatre that would be amazing I can't believe it Battenberg it's going so well Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.